Pashira asks mom for photo unaware of why she wants it. The woman walked to the register with her son in tow. Even though she looked tired, she still smiled and asked her to ring her up. The cashier noticed the woman's son was interested in what she was doing. She decided to show him how everything behind the counter worked, not knowing the impact her actions would have on her life. When Emma started as a cashier in her neighborhood's convenience store, she'd only hoped to make enough money to cover her bills and rent. A college student balancing education, a budding art career, and work, Emma had enough on her plate to keep her motivated each day. Yet, what would happen that day would force her to forget everything in her life. For Emma, working in a convenience store wasn't how she pictured spending her evenings after class. Yet as the weeks passed, she loved everything that came with the job. Emma's position was more than simply sitting behind the counter and ringing up customers. She'd found that her position gave her the best avenue to interact with people from all walks of life, something she loved doing. But what would happen that day would be unlike nothing she'd ever experienced. Emma's hours at the store usually started at 3 in the afternoon till 10 at night. She'd report to work by 2 after her classes, then spend the rest of the day at the store. But that fateful day would be different from the start, which directly influenced the events that would put Emma's life on the map. The week that everything seemingly blew up for Emma was a week of change. First, all her lecturers called off their classes, leaving her with an open week to relax and work on her art. But after the first day was done, Emma knew she couldn't spend an entire day at home, well she could ask for some extra hours at work and make a little money. She had no idea what she was stepping into. For the longest while, Emma struggled to find enough cash to support her art career fully. She wanted to take her city by storm, but she needed art supplies to make that happen. Working these extra hours would allow her to acquire these supplies efficiently, and each sale she'd make from her paintings would help her get a better apartment than the one she was currently living in. What she'd do that day would affect her life in ways she never expected. Emma reported to work as early as she could. After a quick cup of coffee from the break room, she sat at the register and waited for the manager to order the store doors open. The doors slid open at exactly 8 and customers entered in droves. The day would play out the same, and before Emma knew it, it was already late in the noon. She had about an hour left before taking a needed break when it happened. A woman walked to the counter with a trolley of groceries and her son hurrying after her. She seemed tired, with weary eyes and messy hair. Emma said hi to her, and the woman returned her greeting with a bright smile while pulling her son before her. What she would share would break Emma's heart. Long day? Emma asked as she pulled the woman's trolley closer. Yes, the woman answered, breaking another smile. She patted her son's head and added, this one was craving lasagna for lunch, and I realized the house was out of groceries. He's dependable, then, Emma commented with a brighter smile, not knowing what was about to happen. He is, the woman said. Only three years old, and he's already the man of the house. She shared how the boy's little brother was hospitalized and how this was giving him a tough time. Emma's heart broke for the little boy, remembering how hard she had it growing up as a child with an ailing sibling. What she did next would leave the woman speechless. What's your name, honey? Emma asked the boy. Tristan, he responded sweetly. Well, Tristan, I'm Emma, and I have a present for you. She reached over to a candy stall next to her desk and pulled out a lollipop. Before giving it to Tristan, she ran it through the machine. As it beeped, she noticed something that she'd missed earlier while processing the woman's groceries. With each beep that the register made, Tristan's face lit up. His eyes widened and he'd bounce on his toes, trying to get a better look. Emma was still wrapping her head around it when the boy asked, can I help, can I help? Of course, she exclaimed, hurrying over to carry Tristan to her desk. She showed him how to ring up goods. As the boy laughed and pressed away at buttons, the most unexpected thing happened. Tristan's mom snapped a photo of the innocent interaction, capturing her son's ecstasy through the immortality of a photograph. Her eyes watered as she looked at her phone. She took more photos of Emma and Tristan ringing up groceries and thanked Emma for everything. Emma wished her other son a quick recovery before they left. She had no clue what a few photos would do to her life. A few days passed, with Emma reporting for work in the morning and leaving at night. As the week was closing, a friend called her, informing Emma she was trending on Facebook. Her friend mentioned Emma showing a three-year-old boy how the register worked. Of course, Emma asked for the Facebook link and quickly investigated. She wasn't ready for what she found. Emma found the post, the kindest story about how she made a customer and her son smile amid trying times. As the story gained traction, people worldwide dug around Emma's social network accounts and uncovered she was a budding painter and student. And just like that, her art career took off, with many people commissioning her for various art projects alongside commending her for her kindness. To think it all started with a simple act of kindness.